Uh, hello, hello, taco lovers of the world. Today, I wanted to do a little bit of a review on the Corbo Trailcat uh, seats and how they fit in a first-gen Toyota Tacoma. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we go. So here they are. These are the beige trail cats uh, with the HD vinyl. I will say uh, I was a little skeptical of how they would fit in the vehicle, but overall they fit very well. They are much taller uh, in the back, and I did consider being able to see out of this back window when switching lanes. Uh, you can see, but it does block a lot more than the um, stock seats. Not too bad though. Bolsters are enormous and they feel great. The brackets were purchased from Corbo as well for the first in Tacoma. They lined up perfectly. It was super easy to install. Um, something that is different is the angle of the seat. Um, while the trail cat was, you know, uh, a consideration for lifted vehicles because these thigh bolsters are much lower. Um, I chatted with one of the members at Corbo and he suggested that, yeah, um, with uh, something like the Baja, you would eventually see some wear and tear unless you are um, very careful getting in and out. So this one, you, ha you don't have to be as careful. Uh, but overall, the seat does sit a little more flat. Um, so I kind of do want to jack it up in the front a little bit. So essentially, I'm just going to add some more washers here, get a longer bolt, uh, change up the rail angle. Um, the seats do move all the way back. They recline all the way back and they slide far enough forwards. I did use the, um, the stock seat belts and the seat belt clip. The mount on the bracket was super easy to put that thing on. I just ended up getting a, a through bolt that measured uh, 7 sixteenths uh, 20. And then that was a one inch long bolt. And I used the nut that came off of the other seat. Uh, I'm still kind of working around with this because when you move the seat forward, it kind of gets in the way because it doesn't move with the seat. It stays with the bracket. So you pull it forward, it kind of pushes it down there. Then it squishes it with that big bolster. So you can see what I'm talking about here. This nut is actually coming loose just from it moving back and forth. So I have a lock washer in there, but apparently it's not doing that well. Um, so then when moving the seat back, it kind of gets in the way actually so um maybe the the corbo seat belts they seem kind of longer maybe those would be one to consider or a different aftermarket seat belt just to alleviate that uh, annoyance um overall the seats look great they fit great the seat belt clip is like the only part the only the only problem that i have right now but, um... All right, so essentially what we're going to try and do is we're going to put a gap here where these washers are, which came with the brackets and the seat. So this was the bolt I took out. This is M8 uh, times 125, and it's really short. I don't know how long it is, but I bought a longer one, this piece of metal uh, to use as a spacer. I'm going to use the washers, one here and one at the bottom. Uh, this nut works on this one and um, we're gonna raise it about an inch just in the front so I'm gonna loosen the back put these two in the front and then do a cross tighten kind of thing you know so they're all uh, good to go I'll let you know how it is all right you can see that this seat right here it's got the DIY jackers in it and uh, it's a little higher than that seat over there you know it does feel a whole lot better. Uh, I would suggest uh, this is the the bolt that I use. This is times 40 length. I would probably do times 50 just because the nylon locker in this nut, uh, it barely even touches it. So I'm probably, probably gonna go back in there and try and find a 50. I didn't even think they had one, um, but it'll do for right now. You know, it just, it, I run the risk of it backing out only using the 40. But, um, yeah, dude, pretty happy.